Undertaker and ministry, uh, begin feuding with the corporation and taker goes after Vince. So I gotta ask who's the baby face in this situation or in this era, are we really just throwing out the rule book and we're just telling stories. Now we don't have to paint by numbers anymore. The rule book was definitely thrown out and you just took strong characters and told stories around the strong characters that you really cared about. Hence undertaker and Mr. McMahon, obviously there was an end to that story that had the twist to it. And you know, it all uh, smashed the shit out of my finger. Uh, it all made sense in the end, but I think that, um, yeah, so, you look at it, it was characters and story driven. So take her kidnaps Shane to deliver a letter to Vince. And with this directly involving Vince, this obviously has his approval. Hell, all the creative has his approval, but I'm curious, what does Vince think of this creative of involving his kids in this sort of angle? Is he gung ho? It feels like anytime we've mentioned, you know, well, what if this guy did something you always put over that Vince loved having his kids in these angles? Yeah. Really get in there, pal. That type of stuff. Well, this was also the first of, of that really. Um, you know, we had seen Shane, um, whether it be a referee and, and Shane had, had been a bit of a character, but you hadn't seen Stephanie yet. Um, I think people knew she existed and, and what have you, but the family dynamic really hadn't been exploited fully yet. So there was, there was that in the background and, and there, there's Steph who was a, you know, became good Lord, one of the strongest characters in the history. Um, but it was new and it was different. And, and I think it had, it had the reality to it that, wait a minute, those are Vince's kids. There, there is a reality there. That's reality. Right. 